Hello, I'm going to show you how you can make a paper mache balloon or a paper mache sphere at home. Um, what you're going to need is a little bowl. You'll need to have some water, some glue, something to stir with. This is newspaper that I just cut up into strips about this big and a balloon. I didn't fill mine up too much. If you make a really big balloon, it's gonna take a long time. Here's how you do it. What you'll start with is equal parts of water and glue. That means if you put in this much glue, you'll put in this much water and you'll mix it together. I just kind of guess with this. I'm going to open up the top of my glue and I'm going to pour in, let's see, that might be enough. I'll show you how much that looks to be, about that much glue. And I'm going to put in a little water, just a little, and now I stir it up. Stir, stir, stir. So you're making a gluey water mix or watery glue mix. This next part's a little messy and your hands might get a little sticky. Remember this Elmer's glue will wash off really well. Um, here's what you do. I pull up my sleeves. Take my balloon. I'm going to hold it near the sink so that if it drips, it doesn't drip all over my clothes or the floor. I put a strip of paper into that gluey mix, watery glue mix, pick it up. It's dripping a bit. I can ah, scrape it off. I put it on my balloon like that. Now I'll do the same thing with another strip of paper. Now I know this seems a little tricky, we do this in class with the entire class all doing it at once. Imagine that. It's a gluey mess. We usually actually don't use a glue water mix. We use starch, but not so sure if everyone has starch at home, but it's a good way to use it. You can look up other recipes for what to dip your paper in also. Some people use flour. So maybe that could be something you experiment with also is to see which one makes the best paper mache mix for your paper. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to keep on covering your balloon till it's all the way covered and you can't see any more of the balloon except for this right here. Here's how I like to do that section. I do one really close on one side and then kind of like a triangle around it. I'll put one going up this way and then one more right across here. And this can be kind of like a little hanger where you can hang it later. Now mine is not done yet, is it? No, you can see lots of balloon left. You want to cover the whole thing and to make it the best, you want to cover it twice. Put another whole layer on of paper. Now when you get that finished, let it dry somewhere. Don't put it out in the sun. The sun will make the balloon expand the air and it will rip your paper. I've made that mistake many times. Um, but when it's all done, it will look kind of like this. This one I finished ahead. Okay? And it will start to get hard. Listen. That paper's getting hard. It's still a little bit wet here at the bottom. And if you try to take out your balloon while it's still a little wet, it can crumple in. I did that with, I got another one ready, with this. And you can see it kind of got a little bit crumpled and a little bit ripped. But still, it made a sphere. That paper is a really different form than it started out. See that? So. Have fun and experiment with your own paper mache.